hello guys welcome back so one of the main reason i have started this channel is that i should tell my story through the vlsi industry so anytime you join you already have your expectation fixed so recently i have completed one year at vlsi industry and when i had completed six months then also i had created one video and there actually i explained more about roughly like what vlsi engineer do in the industry when they just join so you can check out that one so in this video i'm gonna tell you like how i'm finding out after one year at vlsi industry is the work is too much hectic am i happy with my work what's the main difference between a college life and the vlsi industry or any corporate job which one is best work from home or work from office because nowadays we have both flavor in the industry and also i'll share some my tips and trick by using those you can have a more effective and efficient first year in the industry than me so are you excited if yes then like this video right now and those of you who are not excited for you i have something to tell you i know many of you are struggling to get vlsi job right you are thinking how to apply where to apply recently i got one comment like how to apply for intel qualcomm and uh, those things so see those things are very simple you can just need to go to their career site and there you can directly apply but again being from third tier or just after btech getting into those product based company mnc is little tough so the best idea is to get connected with those hiring managers or leaders but how to do that for that we have a brilliant app and that is hire act hire act is a direct hiring app and why direct because in hire act you can directly connect with the hiring manager the team leader or the founder of the ceo and when the people of hire act approached me i thought in hire act we probably only have those it jobs software job not related to vlsi but in my surprise when i explored this app i found out there are many many vlsi jobs are listed there after you login procedure is done then when you go for selecting your type of job you need to select it because electronics is information technology only right you need to select it and then just scroll down go below and there you can find out our industry the vlsi industry so you can fill out up to i think five preferences and then you can update your resume your bio data your education and then the app will directly match as per your eligibility to the recruiter and in higher app there is around 150000 companies who are directly hiring from there and again there is no issue of privacy because they will share your data with the recruiter only with your consent so no issue so check the description i have given the link of that hireact app you can download it and you can explore all the thing like how to get there and let's get back to our topic so the main issue i faced when i joined a vlsi job is that i felt like i don't belong here because in the meetings in the one to one conversation they used many term many complex term and i don't know them anything so i thought am i under skilled for this job can i do this job how to do that and for that i was in fresh and probably it is more because i have joined from home because face to face interaction was not there and anytime anyone assigned me some task to prove that i belong here i tried everything to finish that task there are some terms i don't know i search millions of time not millions <laughs> but i tried my best to find out the answer but in last one year i found out this thing that saying that i don't know it's all okay because i have seen 5 year plus 10 year plus experienced guy also asking simple question into the meeting because see in vlsi industry there is nothing like simple a simple error could destroy your chip destroy your month of work so all those seniors can ask shamelessly to their leader that hey this thing is not so clear can you explain it again but in for my case i was a fresher i can ask them easily right there is no shame but still i was not asking them because i thought if i ask them probably they will think i don't know anything and that is and that is natural actually fresher don't know anything in your mtech or btech they don't teach you those thing and that is normal also because in our curriculum we can't put everything there we just give you the basic thing and from there you need to build up on it and that build up should happen in your job you need to ask the question after i know this trick then my life becomes simple now i can ask anyone i don't search in google or anywhere i'll search if i don't get an answer but straightly i ask the specific expert 
part if I get stuck in anything and by this way my efficiency got increased and for the time getting recognition also I'll tell those story little later but this mantra you need to keep from the first day I learned it probably after six months seven months and how I learned it by attending meetings probably many of you feel meetings are not good thing but in that those meeting actually I know that those seniors are asking question so from there I learned that after six months but for you from day one only you know this mantra and keep on asking question don't stress yourself out like me second thing when I joined the industry I thought I would work like anything I will compete I'll do the competition I will do the best performing employee of my team like this like this because in colleges what we do if somebody is studying for 10 hour you will study for 10 point 11 hour somebody studying for 11 hour you will study for 13 hour you want to get good cgpa then your friends right but incorporate this is a wrong strategy if somebody working for 16 hour you are not here to compete with him and or her and work for 17 hours this is not at all you are here getting paid to work eight day eight hour a day right yeah there are exceptions deadline is there you need to work or you are in learning phase then it's okay to extend your time a little bit but when you are contributing to a project it is not like and there is no deadline also it is not like okay uh, it is already 5 pm uh, my work is not done okay let's log up to 6 no still work is not done let's log up to 8 because because some other colleagues is still working this shouldn't be your concern right because work can never be finished if there is no work you will lose your job right so work can never be get finished it will never finished by 6 p.m or by friday work will be there it will be foolish to say when my work get done for the day then only i log out no it should be if it is 6 p.m i started my work from 9 the day is over for me i'll see it in the next day and again provided deadline is not there and related to this question only work-life balance also keep on circulating in the industry sometime deadline is there you need to work a little harder more than eight hours and there is no deadline in that time probably you can someday work for two or three hours only so it's also like a sign curve so when your work pressure is not there balance out your family balance out your other work some side gig if you are doing and when you having the deadline that time you need to concentrate on your work it is not otherwise like if today i am not having any work but my colleagues is sitting there so i also need to sit here doing nothing if you do like this thing then you can never achieve work-life balance and also in our next video where i have talking with the principal engineer of intel so actually he explained this phenomenon like work-life balance how to get work-life balance more beautifully so i'm not iterating it again but just i have given you some hints so in one year i can say i know the trick of how to balance out your job there are exception again if you join some company managers are not good then you can't do anything work-life balance will get destroyed but again there you will having some other option like and you can change your Team. you need to do some extra effort some extra study to change your team or you can switch to other companies the options are there but hopefully you will be lucky like me to get a great team to work for what you wanted so now the most important question am i liking my work and in simple word yes i am liking my work and i think i probably need more one year to know everything what is going on in this field this small spectrum of vlsi design and after that i could ask my manager to give me some other work like uh, ex, uh, like exploring STA or extraction but right now I am deeply on to optimizing the layouts cleaning out the layouts and writing the script automation script so that my work get faster like I want to clean LBS I write something and which will do some magic and LBS got clean so th this type of work I am doing there and I am liking it and as I am liking it so I also got few of the recognition in this entire world I got few recognition in this entire year and you can see these are my recognition these are for few of the projects I have worked for in our company why anybody get recognition the recognition is uh, something else than your salary right it is when you do something more than what you are assigned to for example in one of the project we thought it would be very easy just changing of something but when we started that project we find out that there are many things need to be done and I was the 
uh, sole person to do up to the tape out phase so my manager helped me a lot my one of my teammates also helped me a lot but there we need to slog through extended hour again because deadline was there and then i also got some compensatory leave that's all okay. but again if i got this project in my first half of the, that year when i don't know that saying i don't know or please tell me this thing again it's shameful then probably i wouldn't have finished that work but as i know that tree so i asked my manager many times how to do this thing and he explained me everything or the teammates experts so that is actually a golden mantra that saying i don't know it's great so now most important question again and that is what is good for a fresher work from home or work from office and why both thing is existing because we now have a hybrid model for few days you can work from home or, or for few days you can work from office but i will strictly recommend you who are just joining Vilasa industry, especially those of you who are coming from second tier, third tier city like me, please go to office every day. It is excellent. Really, it is excellent. Like in my first half of my uh, career, like one year, I felt uh, insecure or uncomfortable or uh, am I doing the perfect thing only because I was joined from home because I was not knowing the exact culture here. But when now I have joined, um, I'm finding it out if I have joined one year ago, it was probably I would have learned more than today I am. So please join your office. That is important. And also like, for example, Bangalore, 90% of you will be come to Bangalore. Bangalore is a wonderful city. You can meet so many amazing people there. Uh, like in last weekend only, I met with these people, the founder of VLSI for all, then the founder of Semiconductor Society. And I'm planning to meet with some other people also because networking the thing which will help Help you in your future i was little bit lagging in the networking part but now i want to build my network and building a network is really necessary in your life in your career in the future and you don't need to see here and there for networking your colleagues are the expert you will find out your manager of 12 years of experience your skip level manager 30 years of experience they are the gem in the industry so you can easily schedule a lunch with them because they are also going to lunch you can also just uh, get along them and have in the same table you can discuss something else about other than work so these things are precious you can't find it out in a zoom or team meetings so work from office is must for a fresher and i'll also recommend you never miss any career connection or any extra event which are uh, held in your camp campus i'm fortunate enough that i got an opportunity to actually organize such kind of event in last month only and this is only because i came to bangalore and this was an internal club at our intel so we had a great fun actually i i had met many of you there who have already joined intel and this thing again add into your work-life balance this add juice to your life other than work what you should be known for and these events actually make you capable of those yeah initially you won't be organizing those but if you don't attend then you can never be organizing those events in future so when you are in your first year probably in your second year try to attend those events as much as you can and if you have a great network you can get the opportunity to organize them also so many of you asked me like i got application engineering or i got quality assurance engineering profile and i don't know what those are can you explain me and probably i also feel sometimes because i also don't know all the profile right but if you can download the hiring app you can directly talk with those team member hiring manager and you can ask about the job profile so click on the link in the description and download the hiring app because hiring hey to direct here so let me know in the comment section if you have applied through direct and i'll meet you in our next video very soon till then tata bye bye take care